Hi there, Johnny Daniel, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How are you tonight? It's Wednesday again at 7 o'clock. So we're here live and we're going to be doing a simple Mother's Day card. Now, you're going to tell me, but I don't have a mom anymore. I don't send cards to my mom. We don't do Mother's Day. We're in lockdown, whatever the case may be. So. With that being said, what we're going to do is, I already have a sample that's got a Mother's Day, and so we're gonna do Happy Birthday instead. So, um, you can do Happy Mother's Day, you can do Birthday, we're gonna do a whole bunch of substitutions and we're gonna make it work because it's Sunday. So I wanna make sure you get a card off by like tomorrow. So if it's late, it's only late by a day. And you can tell mom, it's already in the box. So hopefully that will help you. Um, we are still shipping. It's a little bit slower than normal for those of you that are my regulars. It takes about a week, a little bit longer than now, um, before it was just under a week. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I've been talking a lot today, so my voice is a little bit shot. Um, online class of the week, so I need a little bit of forgiveness. Um, it will be up tomorrow and it will run through Tuesday. Uh, it was not coming together how I wanted it to. And instead of pushing something out that I felt wasn't good, I delayed it a little bit. So sorry about that. We will get things out to you and get things going for you if you've been looking forward to that. Um, let's see, rubber rummage, tentatively May 16th. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, let's see. And then last but not least, we are doing the Give Back um, with COVID-19 digital stamps. So if you'd like to order those, they're 12 bucks. It gives you 15 pages of exclusive artwork PDF format. Um, and it's $12. You get them um, right then. You can download it on the spot and it's emailed to you and you can use it as many times as you want to. If there's somebody else that wants it, then they need to order it. Um, the entire $12 goes to two organizations, one being World Health Organization and one being, uh, I believe it's United Way Global. So you can choose between the two or split between the two if you don't like either of them, and I get it completely. If you don't, don't order it. So that's all I can say. Um, with all that, I think that's all I have for you. There's been a lot of changes with events and stuff on the demonstrator side, but on the customer side, we're still on target to launch the new catalog in June. Um, for those of you that want the catalog, if you've ordered with me in the last year, you will automatically get it. If you have not ordered me with me in the last year, you need to let me know. I do have a Facebook event. You can share with friends, other crafters, whatnot. And I'm realizing how much I'm touching my face. Um, so um, please share the event. Um, it's from my page and it's, do you want a catalog? <laughs> so it's pretty self-explanatory. There is no cost to the catalog unless the order doesn't lift and I have to do everything by mail. So I'm kind of waiting until Friday to let you guys know that. Um, if I have to do it by mail, it's gonna probably run me an extra three or $400 and I don't honestly don't have that right now um, to have something go out the same way we could do by delivery. So um, we're gonna wait and see and figure it out because that's a couple weeks away and the whole world could flip by then so we're just going to smile and keep going so um tonight we're going to do a simple card with some retiring product and let's get to creating okay hi lise hey cheryl how are you guys i miss seeing everybody i see that i have three on here with me ah denise so, I had to scroll. Sorry, honey. I almost missed ya. <laughs> so, let me get some water. Um, we've been doing pre-orders today for demonstrator stuff, which means um, stuff from the new catalog, which is awesome. Hi, Iris. How are you, honey? 
So it's been awesome, but I've been on the phone a lot today, so my voice is a little bit choppy and a little tired. So if I sound tired, it's only because I've already done my 10,000 words today. <laughs> Or whatever that silly number was that somebody said at one point, and I can't remember, but we'll just say it that way. So, I'm going to push through, and if I cough a little, just understand that I've been yapping all day. <laughs> so, alrighty, so, let's see, let me push refresh here and get things going for you. My internet's been a little wonky today, so, um, I'll be honest with you guys, I miss getting together, you know, because when we sit together and hug and do, I'm not constantly talking, and there's a little bit of a break, and I get my tea, and that's not happening, so I need to take better care of myself, evidently and make sure I grab my tea in the middle of the day. But, hey, it's what it is, right? It's, yeah. Well, we'll see how long the voice lasts, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm pretty good at talking, but there's even a limit to me. <laughs> All right, so, you know, I should probably show you. I have, um, two of the three or four projects done for the online class. So, it's going to be, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's going to be using this stamp set here, parcels and petals, and then the die cuts that are associated with it. So, let's do a little bit, shall we? So, this is the little box. I don't know if it's finished yet, but this box is what has put me behind. I will be honest with you. I had to change the color because I ran out of cardstock. It's a little bit tricky. <laughs> so, um, so, we've got that. And then this guy's been done for like a week and a half. Um, this is actually starting with a white piece of cardstock, believe it or not. So this is kind of a, I wouldn't say new technique, but a combination of a few that I've never put completely together all in the same card. So, um, so that's so far what's going to happen. Um, and then I'm finishing the details on a pop-up box card to finish it all off. So, and depending on cost and time will be if that's the only other project. We'll see. So, just all the logistics of things. Go figure. So, for today, um, for today, we are doing this beautiful, simply elegant, is how I'm going to say it, Mother's Day card. Now, since I already stamped Mother's Day, we are going to also do Happy Birthday because you only have one mom, right? And I have zillions of birthdays to send to. But let's go over the details of this, shall we? So we've got... <sighs> Okay, thick whisper white cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches. On the 11 inch side, you're gonna score at five and a half. Where's my Shawnee? Shawnee, <laughs> I don't know if you're on here yet. On the valley side instead of the mountain side, we are going to fold like this, okay? So this is my valley side. My mountain, we're going to hide, and we're going to put it like this, okay? And then I actually have it all pre-cut, but um, let's see here. One second, I'm looking for uh, my glue. All right, so, um, so the measurements here, okay? 
So the outer um, Grapefruit Grove, which is a retiring color. Um, the outer one is cut at five and a quarter by four. Okay, so five and a quarter by four. Okay, the outer pattern paper mat, which is the Paris, which is also going, is cut at, uh, oh, I did this one the larger and goofy, so let me flip this for you. Four and three quarter by three and a half. Okay, so four and three quarter by three and a half. That's this one here. Okay. Then I have the petal pink ribbon. Petal pink ribbon. And let's see, the organdy striped petal pink ribbon, to be exact. Um, that's cut at probably about six inches about half inch three quarter inch over each edge so about an extra inch and a half two inches to be able to tuck those edges in because this isn't a very stiff ribbon you don't need it quite as long as some of the burlaps and that kind of thing so i hope that helps you um so you can save a little bit is my point okay um let's see here Let's keep moving, shall we? So the inner mat of the Grapefruit Grove is two inches by three and a quarter. I've been on this mat kick of how to focus your accent pieces. So this is why you're getting this, okay? I know I did it in a technique, I believe, was it this week? I believe it was this week. I believe it was just yesterday. Oh my gosh. Um, so, Anyways, so I want you to know that if you layer differently, it brings the focus different. Okay, so two by three and a quarter is the Grapefruit Grove mat, and then your white, Whisper White piece of cardstock. You can also use the thick, but honestly, it's more expensive, and because it's more expensive, why, why use it when you don't really need it, okay? So... This is just regular Whisper White, but if all you have is thick because you've got it for the card bases, then do that. Um, and that's at one and three quarter by three, okay? Or a quarter inch down from the last one. So one and three quarter by three, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna jazz it up a little bit more. Um, if Lisa's is on here, we're gonna do some bling. So um, let's see here. Let me get started, shall we? All right, so we've got our Whisper White card base folded valley side out, okay? We have got our Grapefruit Grove and our Snail Adhesive, which is going out. Hey, by the way, if you want refills, please let me know. I believe it is sold out on the website. At least that's what Shawnee was telling me. I haven't checked in the last three hours, so forgive me. But um, if you would like snail refills and do not have any currently or need more or however you want to say it, um, I have them in stock. I have probably about 10 or so, um, 8 to 10 that I have for sale. And then I also have two other snail cartridges that are brand new. And I also have my class packs, but I'm waiting to see when I can order the others. So, okay. Alrighty. So we've got our base. And then you would think I would put this on now, right? No, we got to do the ribbon. Remember? Okay. So depend, you really want to plan where your ribbon goes because based on where your ribbon goes is when you glue down, right? So if you want your ribbon to be around this one, then you're not going to glue this down. Well, you can, but then you're peeling up and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And Anyways, so because this ribbon is kind of see-through, I want to strategically put my glue dots where my panel is going to be so basically in the middle half of that paper 
okay? So I wanna kinda of plan and look at this and go, I probably want like two dots right in the middle. Okay, so you wanna be careful with this and here's the reason why. Because it's an organdy ribbon, meaning it means that the stickiness doesn't go away because there's not enough fabric to it. Translation, make sure you have paper covering it so you don't end up with stickies all over your card. That's what that translates to. And then grab your take your pick tool or honestly, mine's across the room. My room is messy because I have not had classes and I have to clean. It's just, it's gotten bad. Um, no, I'm not gonna take pictures. It's not that bad, but it's so I can't function very well. So I have to clean tonight. All right, so I've got that going. And now that I've glued that down, I can grab my snail and grab this way, this way, this way, okay? Grab this. Notice too, my ribbon's a tiny bit crooked, so I'm just gonna scooch a tiny bit to make it a little straighter. You can adjust and then glue this down. So we got that. Now on my sample, I had this piece glued flat, but honestly I want it popped up both ways. So I'm going to do that this time instead because I want it to be a little bit more depth to it. So when you're using dimensionals with ribbon, you kind of want to put the dimensionals where the ribbon isn't, so that way it stays put better, okay? So I'm gonna make sure to put, now you wanna leave about eighth of an inch, quarter inch. So as you're looking at the card, you don't see those dimensionals sticking out the back of it or the side of it rather, okay? So, so we're gonna do this and see what I mean? The dimensionals are not gonna stick on the ribbon, okay? So we've got that and we're gonna do that and then I'm actually going to stamp a little bit. I know last week we didn't do any ink, right? It was kind of weird, at least for me. So, um, ink colors for this evening. Basic gray, pear pizzazz, and of course, grapefruit grove. We gotta have grapefruit grove, right? Okay, Cheryl, will you either text me or email me how many? you refills you would like hi Lise how are you hun I'm catching up on my comments sorry <laughs> so um but if you'd like the refills please let me know how many um and they're in the original packaging they're not used or anything so it'll just be the catalog price but you'll be able to get them so because <laughs> I didn't realize they would sell out so all right um and I'll check the website to make sure that they um, have sold out before I do that. Not that I don't trust Shawnee, but I wanna see it for myself. So, um, so email me how many and then I'll let you know. Okay, so we've got Basic Gray, Pear Pizzazz, and Grapefruit Grove, okay? And so first we are gonna do Pear Pizzazz. That is our stem and our leaves. Now, you can go a lighter color but honestly, I like the tone of these colors. So that's why I picked them. But I'm going to stamp off a couple times because I don't want it as dark as how it presents itself. Okay. And then we're going to grab some leaves. And... I don't know, leaves can be darker, lighter, I don't know. So I'm just going to stamp some and breathe some so I don't re-ink. And I'm just going to float my leaves there, okay? So that concludes my pear pizzazz. <laughs> I know some of you are like, wait, she's not done. Hey, Sean, how are you? And let's see here. And then I'm going to do some Grapefruit Grove on my tulip. 
Now, this is a distinctive set, so you want to make sure you don't stamp off so much because on the other sample, it was um, not happening with the detail. So you want to make sure you only like stamp off once if you have to at all. Okay. So there's that guy, and you want to make sure that soaks in quite nicely. And of course, I'm the only one watching the dog, so guess what's going to happen, you guys? Let me pause for two seconds and let the dog out. Hold on. Hi, Bubba's. How are you? Okay. Life. <laughs> so... Okay, so we got our leaves, we got our flower done. So now we're on to the sentiments of the basic gray, <laughs> right? He always manages to need to go out even if I've just let him out, it's always the case. And he always manages to find me, <laughs> not anybody else, but hey, it's a privilege, right? So I'm doing happy birthday. And I'm going to go down below the leaves. You can do it wherever you want. Okay. And I probably stamped that crooked, but hey. It is what it's supposed to be. We'll just say it that way, huh? So I'm going to close my ink up. I've seen some people do a tiny bow here to kind of accent and all that. But I don't have tiny ribbon out. And I've already gotten up once, so I'm not doing that again. <laughs> so... All right, so I am grabbing more dimensionals for fingers, right? <laughs> so this is how my life is. Four fingers means... Now, one thing you might want to pay attention to if you don't want it to be huge, pop-up, kind of bulky, you might want to place these where the other ones aren't below it so that way it kind of evens things out. I didn't think of that beforehand, but just something... So if you're mailing, things tend to start to slide after you have two in a row. So you might want to just think about that as you're doing. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got some champagne rhinestones. <laughs> not crooked, yeah. Um, no, I did pretty good tonight. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Sometimes it's darn crooked, but hey. Oh well. All right, so I am just going to randomly do some bling to step this up. Because we got to have bling, right, Lise? Since you're on. <laughs> All right, so I'm just grabbing. These are the champagne rhinestones, if you're wondering. And I'm going to grab a little guy. Let's see how big this is. Oh, you hear the dog barking, don't you? It's a little bit big, but hey, there's my eye. So one, two, three, four. We're supposed to have an odd number. So let's put one like, yes, I'm doing this with my fingers. It's what it is. And I don't actually like that, so I'm going to keep going. We're going to do, I think, seven. So let's see here. Where is the last one? I think here. Okay. There's my my infamous birthday card. So somebody might get this one, huh? <laughs> if it's Lisa's, I'm going to have to add more bling. <laughs> so, anyways, that's all I have for tonight. So feel free to follow me. Um, this, this video will also be on YouTube with all the other Facebook Lives that I do and get uploaded to. If you would, if you regularly, regularly check me out on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome for me. Thank you. Um, so follow me, stampinwithjohnny.com. There will be full instructions, the link to this video. And I don't know what else, but probably something else um, tomorrow. And then Stampin' with Johnny is my YouTube channel. And then if you would like to order any retiring things, um, johnnydaniel.stampinup.net. Postcode is for Heidi with club. 
N as in Nancy, 6 R, N as in Nancy, G, B as in boy, 2 H. So thank you so much. Have a great evening. You beat me to it, Cheryl. <laughs> so, and hopefully I'm really crossing my fingers that things start changing so I can at least drop some things off on your doorstep with the new catalog so I can do a couple extra freebies instead of putting it in the postage. But hey, keep your fingers and your toes crossed, huh? <laughs> and that's all we're going to say about that. So, alrighty. Um, Shawnee, since you're on, I do want to let you know, I don't know if you saw the current update that happened like a half hour ago. I saw it just as I was coming on that said, oh, the stuff that you wanted, they just got shipment in. So, of course, right? Right after you hit submit. So the flowers and the brass um, new foil and all that kind of stuff. So you might want to check it out. It was on one of the current updates. I think the top one. So anyways, without anything else, I will leave you with this gorgeous color that's going, but it's okay. So because we will have more. No ink. Nope. No ink. Just the flowers and stuff. So it's on there. There's like four things. Yes, I put in another order. We're not even going there. Anyways, if any of you would like to order from the new catalog, please let me know. Yes, you have to become a demonstrator. There's not a lot to it though. $300 a quarter. That's it. So all the rest of it is up to your imagination. So Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great evening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.